stars are so bright tonight. Hey, Peck, did you know you could get a star named after you? <gasps> named after me? That's what I said. Oh, the possibilities. Oh, the science. Peck, the star. It would be my kingdom. And I would be the ruler. And it would be mine. In the name of science, in the name of Peck. <laughs> Peck? Uh, are you okay? Oh, uh, guess you're still here. Yeah, uh, totally fine. The stars are just cool, you know. Shh. Don't shush me. I'm shh. Do you hear that? Well, you're not invited to my kingdom of Peck the Star anymore. Heck, listen! Sounds like something's ticking. Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. I'm Les the Gummy Gator. Today, we're Galaxy Explorers! Let's go! We have to find what is making this sound. Hmm. None of the stars look like they're in danger. Wait! <laughs> you found it? <laughs> no, but I did find a chicken. <laughs> a chicken? Well, let me try. Hmm, let's see. If I follow the sound... Uh -huh. You found it? I want to see! Yeah, but by my calculations, this isn't good. It just looks like a red super giant star. What's wrong with that? Exactly. Red super giant stars are known to explode. What? We can't let this happen. Oh, we gotta do something to the pet pod. Gus, I know you want to help, but I don't think we can stop this. We have to at least try. Well, all right. Keep an eye out for that red super giant star. I got it on the radar too. It says we're 642 light years away. What does that mean? It means if we were moving at the speed of light, it would still take us 642 years for us to even get to it. So we can't save the star from exploding? No, but this is actually normal for a star like this. It's called a supernova. It's the name of the explosion that happens when a star dies. Oh, so that's what the sound is counting down. Yep, so stars like this red supergiant have gravity pushing in and nuclear energy pushing out. Eventually, the star runs out of energy at the core. Gravity keeps pushing into the star. So, everything the star is made of crashes into the core. And all of that matter can't stay in one place. This is where detonation begins. It's only a matter of time before it explodes. That's what the ticking is! Exactly! Soon, all of its matter and radiation will explode into space. And that's what happens during a supernova. Wow! It's almost time! Should we head back to Earth for safety? We'll be okay up here. If we're 642 light years away, this star must be in the Orion constellation. It won't reach us because we're too far away. It'll be like watching a movie. Good thing I brought a snack! Oh gosh! I think this is it! It's happening, little gators! We're about to see a supernova! Whoa! I've never seen anything so cool! It was so beautiful! It kind of makes me sad that the star is gone now. It's okay. Stars going supernova is natural. We need them to spread elements all over the universe. That's how planets, 
moons, and other stars are made. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> you know, Peck, star searching with you turned into an adventure when we heard a red super giant star was in trouble. I had no idea that ticking countdown could turn into a star about to go supernova. And when you explained that red supergiant stars can run out of nuclear energy, it made sense that gravity would take over and make the whole star collapse. But what I think is the coolest part of all of this is when the red supergiant star went supernova in front of us. Because this is how the elements are spread all over space to make more stars, planets, and everything in the universe. That was my favorite part, too. I gotta get home and journal about this. This is the experience of a lifetime. I guess we're heading back to Earth then. Thanks for watching, little gators. I'll see you next time. Bye! Whoa!